Hello my little screwballs, what is up it is your girl screwball, Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas. Today, if you read the title, <laughs> we are doing a, sorry, I am very sniffly this morning, we are doing a Christmas haul because I got a lot of stuff that I want to show you. And just to inform you, this video is not going to contain any opening, but there are blind bags and I might open those off camera and give you guys pictures. So, yeah. With stocking stuffers. So, I got this. First, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, I got this catacorn face mask, which I might use tonight because yesterday I took a bath, but um, I didn't actually wash or anything because I was uh, <laughs> I was in a lot of pain and needed a warm bath to soothe it. So, like, ew, why is it? Oh, I was sitting on a pair of jeans, that's why it was cold. And, uh, I got a lot of candy, yes, but we'll get into that later. So I got one of these, um, blind boxes. There. Yeah, that. And we all got one, and I got two little eggs of Silly Boy. You can see that? I'm gonna keep them in there so I don't lose those. And I got some new earbuds, which is great because mine are kind of broken. <laughs> I got this purple cat sleep mask, and the, this side is silk, which is great because I have a sleep mask, but it's just, I don't really like it anymore, and the eyes keep falling off of it, so. And then, this year, I showed a, quite a bit of interest in Mickey Mouse for uh, reasons relating to a certain story that we're not going to talk about. So, I ended up getting some Mickey Mouse stuff in my stocking, so I got this little lip balm. Very cute. And I got, I'm pretty sure this is my first Mickey Mouse Puzzle Spencer, so Mickey Mouse Puzzle with some candy, of course, because I... I am a Pez addict. I collect Pez for a living. And now we're going to move on to candy. So while we're on the topic of Mickey Mouse, we got some gummies. And we got a little jar of Nutella. Some Pop Rocks. Candy cane flavor. That's intriguing. A little bar of chocolate. A couple of these marshmallow snowmen. A little thing of peppermint bark. Because I love peppermint bark. So this is double crisp coal. Is this is this what I get for getting after school? It wasn't my fault. Nerd's rope. As pretty pretty usual in my house. A Rolos candy cane, which I don't know why I get Rolos. I don't show any interest in Rolos. But I mean, they're not bad. I like them. So that's what was in my stocking. So let's move on to other things. Oh yeah, and we do the tradition of the pickle ornament hiding in the tree. And we have two of them, and I end up finding one of them. So I got this dark chocolate orange. Which, you know, I never get that. So I'm really happy I got that. Okay, anyway. Okay, and I got some stuffed animals too. Uh -huh. um, and I'm going to give you a little interesting story once I show you some other stuff that I got. But first, let's get to the stuffed animals. So first, we got Treasure. This little palace pet. Very cute. Has a little purple paw print. So we got that. And I forgot her name, but we have this little fox. Also very cute, got her little paw print right there. And because I don't have a whole lot of stuff of these guys, we got Princess Celestia. Yeah, it has a cutie mark on one side. I hate it when I do that with the plushies. And of course, where there's Celestia. There has to be a Luna. I'm going to show you one other stuffed animal I got. And I know what you're thinking. Ew, you don't sleep with a sheet on your bed. 
I haven't put my new sheet on yet, okay, I'm sorry. But, um, let me just show you this stuffed animal. That's a big horse. This boy is so big. Like, look at that. Like, you see that? You see that compared to my hand, right? His body, like, look how just ginormous this horse is. Can't even fit him in frame. He's huge, and I have named him Buck because he's named after a character that I like. If you can figure out where it's from, then uh, we can be best friends for all eternity because I doubt anyone remembers him. Yeah, all right, so big boy. To go along with Big Boy, we got a blanket. Now, I pretty much get a blanket every year for Christmas. This one's got a horse on it. When I first saw it, I thought it was a herd of horses, but it's just one horse, but that's fine. All right, so now let me get some of the other things over here. I don't have to reach over you. Okay, okay. So I asked for some books. Now, I didn't get a, I only got two books, but I got some books that I really wanted. So I've already read this book in class. So we got Speak, and I really like this book, so I asked for it. I didn't expect to get a hardcover copy of it, but yeah, that's, that's awesome. And then I got, I wanted to get the whole nine book series of this, but um, my friends actually got this for me. Um, these Unicorns of Balinor. I saw this in my English teacher's class, and I really wanted to read them, so I decided to ask for them for Christmas. And my friends got me some presents, so they got me this, and it's books one through three. So that'll be something to read when I get back to school. And again, hardcover. Alright, so on to, uh, why don't we do... But let's punch up stuff next. There's not a whole lot of it. And like I said, this is where the blind bag stuff comes in. So, here we got one of these Lucky Pets sets. And I've wanted to get one of these for the longest time. I hope that one of them is the lion, or at least this pink cat. Because I don't have any lions, and that pink cat's really cute. Ignore that. That was just one of my posters falling off the wall. Seriously, y'all was doing so good. I was just bragging about you the other day, and now you're gonna fall off the wall like that? Man. I swear, they only misbehave when I talk about them. Anyways. Then we got this um, tube of sparkly OPS. Very cute. And now, I got three of these, two for my parents and one from my friends. It's these um, pet shop salon blind boxes, bags, whatever. And I think it has two pets in each, and that's awesome because there's some really cute pets in these. But as I said, I'm not opening these on camera because I'm going to open these when I get back to the living room. So now let's move on to Calico Critters because there's a lot of it. Because I used to be really into it. I'm, I still like it. It's just not as much. So let's start with the smallest set. So we got this. Uh, the Baby Castle Playground set. With the. Uh, come on. Come on, focus. I'm not going to focus because of that. With Grace Hopscotch Rabbit. So this set looks really cute. I use most of my Calico Critter sets for my OPS, so. Then we got this set. It's the uh, Baby Ropeway Park with Henry Sweet Pea Rabbit, which I already have one of him, but that's fine. Very cute. It'd be a nice hangout for my OPS, especially for a series I was thinking about doing after Christmas. And then I got three really big sets, so. We got eh, Village Pizzeria. Now, I, these sets, I think only one of them I showed any interest in, but that's still really cool. 
But like I said, I use them mostly for my OPS and all. It's so cute. Can't wait to open that because I don't have a whole lot of big sets. I think my only big set like this is the house and the car. Then we got the Baby Castle Nursery. Very cute. Perfect for couch critters and LPS alike. And now here is the last set. And it's the grocery market. This is the one that I showed interest in. Because my LPS do not have a store. They have plenty of groceries, they just don't have a store. So, there's that. And now here's another thing that my friends got me. If you're wondering, these friends, it's like two twin sisters and then it's a set of twin sisters and then it's an older sister and I'm assuming they each pick something out for me that or either their mom just really likes me. But I got a new sketchbook and this, this is like that good paper. I'm not done with my other sketchbook yet, but I'm going to customize the cover of this because I have an idea. I have stickers that I want to put on that. And now let's move on to the most exciting part, which is the schlecks. <sighs> so first let's start with everything that's not a horse. So first we got a buck. And what's a buck without a doe? And a little fawn. This fawn is a lot smaller than I remember it being. But oh well. So there we go. Cute little deer family. Can't tell if it's focused because I'm leaning over it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give all my schlecks a bath once I'm done here. Then we got this little quarter horse foal, because if you remember, I have the mom. And of course, to go with that, we have the dad. I don't know if I'm gonna do a name reveal in this video because I'm gonna do a video about all my horses and their names and all. Because I know I haven't told y'all all their names. So, um, yeah, I already have a name for him. I don't have a name for his daughter yet, but they have their mom waiting for them. Oh, stand up, sweetie. There you go. All right, then we got this Tennessee Walker gelding. Now, I got him to go with my Tennessee Walker mare, as y'all see her, the brown horse with the white around her hooves. But apparently he's supposed to go with a different mare. But it's fine. I mean, I've had that horse so long. She'll be happy with anything. And then we got this horse right here. Now, I didn't think I was going to get him. I actually got him in my stocking, and he doesn't have a... He came without a tag. But we got the Frisian Stallion, and I, w I did not think I was going to get him this year. Because he's so rare. But I was digging through my stocking, and then I, like, dug to the very bottom, and I was like, that feels like a horse. But I had I'd done given up on hope of getting him by then. So, that's really nice and lastly we got some the thing that my brother got me for christmas and that's uh hannah's first aid with icelandic ponies see it's got uh, we got a mom her baby some apples uh, A needle, stethoscope, and a little first aid thing to keep it in. And the foal's got a cast on that you can take off. And I really like these horses. And I think I'm just going to leave her as, like, a single mother. Because she looks like she'd be more of a single mother. Well, guys, I already put out my mascot LPS. But that is everything that I got for Christmas. I think I might be getting more stuff, but I'm not sure. I will update if I do. And... I will see you in the next video, which will be in a couple weeks because that's when my birthday is. See you then. Bye my little screwballs. Mwah.